Glory to Jesus Christ. I want to show you guys uh, my latest icon purchase. This came in the mail a few days ago. And I'm so excited about this. This is such an awesome icon. They're all awesome, but this is like super special bonus awesome. Okay, this is, I hope I'm getting the whole thing there. Is that, that's as good as that. it's going to get. This is the first mission to Alaska. Now, if you're Orthodox, of course you already know this. The Orthodox Christian religion uh, came to what was eventually the United States from Russia to Alaska. So, in this icon we see St. Herman of Alaska, St. Juvenali, and the third one I believe is St. Joseph um, on their little boat heading toward Alaska. But, of course, this is an icon, so there's many other things going on here as well. So what I thought I would do is just, I'm just going to explain this a little bit because it's just amazing. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only word that I can think of to describe it. Um, okay. I feel weird that you can't see my face, but whatever, my face is not what's important. Okay, so take a look at this. You've got the three saints, right? They're the ones with the halos. And then you've got some other missionaries. Two of them are rowing, and two of them are... I don't even know what they're doing, but they're, they're along for the ride. Okay, now, this big boat, that's the church, as in the Orthodox faith, is right here. And so this is the little dinghy that the big ship here is sending out to Alaska, to evangelize to Alaska. Okay, see, see nothing in an icon is ever by accident. So this is not a random ship going by. No, 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 no. This is the church. Now take a look at these guys here. You've got their blue little wee little boat with the gold stars on it. Okay, what is that? Well, that's divinity. That is, it symbolizes their heavenly mission. So you got stars up here, but then you have the gold ones down here that are even more important, right? Now look at the boat. The boat's little. There's no engine. You got these two guys here with these weenie looking oars. They look like they're about to snap off. They're in the middle of these white water rapids looking things. I mean, this is, this is crazy, right? Again, it's intentional. Do you see any fear on the faces? Sorry, I know my camera stinks. No, you don't. And there's a reason for that. Right. The reason is, they have been dispatched by the Ark of Salvation to bring divine truth to Alaska. So they're not afraid of the water. They're not afraid of any of the animals. They're not afraid of a shark attack. They're not afraid of anything. But what are they doing? They're lifting their hands and glorifying God and praying that God will help them reach the shore, which, of course, he is going to do. Now, up here, these are doves, uh, sorry, these are doves, blah, 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 doves or perhaps seagulls. But either way, they represent the Holy Spirit. Okay? When our Lord was baptized and he ascended out of the water, the dove came, rested on him, and that was the Holy Spirit, right? So this is the Holy Spirit that's watching over these evangelists as they are going into unknown territory. Let me remind you, these guys spoke Russian. They did not, they were not fluent in any native Alaskan tribal language yet, because this is the first mission. Now, even the guys who are rowing the boat, they're not looking back toward the ship they're looking toward you. And they're looking toward Alaska. Why? Because everyone, every Orthodox that you see on this boat, is united in one purpose, which is spreading the faith. They're spreading the faith through prayer, sanctified by the Holy Spirit, who is the head of the church. Kabam, right? So even this guy, whose neck should not be able to twist like that, there's a reason for that. Icons are not supposed to look like photographs, obviously. So the meaning behind that is, even though he's doing a menial job, 
He's not wearing priestly clothes. He's probably a hired laborer. Maybe not even educated. Maybe he can't even read. But he is looking toward Alaska just as much as the saints are. Because truly, these are all saints, aren't they? These are all saints because they're united in that purpose. They're not allowing themselves to be dominated by fear, by ignorance, by laziness, by uh, cultural bias. None of that. They're saying, you know what? We are putting our hand to the plow and we are not turning back. Now, you've also got this little guy. <laughs> At first, I thought it was an otter. I actually believe it's a seal. This is the first time I've ever seen a seal in an icon. So... I believe that that seal is just representing the openness of, of the Alaskans to accept the gospel of Jesus Christ. Look, this is a, this is a dumb animal, right? Not, I'm not insulting it by saying it's dumb. What I mean is it can, it's not rational. It can't talk. It can't think the way that you and I can. But it senses the blessedness of the saints, and it is drawn to it. Just like many of the, the martyrs throughout the thousands of years of Christian history, um, or even not the martyrs, not only the martyrs, many of the greatest saints had a strong affinity for animals. They could feed tigers and bears without getting hurt. This is the same thing. It's because the animal senses the blessedness. See, animals don't have sin. Animals are not sinful because... They do not have free will. They do not have rationality in the same way that you and I do. But it doesn't mean that they can't sense righteousness. You know? So this is this, is this righteous seal. I just think that this is one of the most amazing icons I've ever seen. We have so much to learn from it, and we have so much to learn from just... I mean, look at this. This is fearlessness. How many of us could face this tremendous storm, and you can see, look up at the sky there, there's a storm clouds of brewing. How many of us could do that with this kind of just implacable faith and sobriety and commitment of purpose? Most of us would probably not do so well. I wouldn't. I'll tell you that right here. So anyway, that's the icon of the first mission to Alaska, and, you know, I just pray that ultimately... Each of us will have the grace and the courage and the correctly ordered priorities to get into whatever boat the Lord puts us on. Whatever vessel we are on, whatever storm he sends us into, so that we can do his will. Because ultimately, you and I come from here too. It doesn't matter if we're not going to some uncontacted island. Every soul is an uncontacted island if it hasn't heard the gospel. So when we go into the prison, that's what this is. This icon. I love it for prison ministry. Of course, I don't have a halo over my head. I'm probably one of the goobers just row in the ship. But the point is that any time we are preaching the gospel, we are, in effect, reaching uncontacted people, uncontacted souls, or those who have been con contacted but then fell away. So we need to recontact them, reestablish those lines of communication between them and the Lord. So, first mission to Alaska. It's awesome. I got this from orthodoxincense.com, which is also where I buy my incense and my charcoal and stuff. So, uh, If you, uh, if you have a chance, give them some business, because, uh, you know, we want to we wanna keep these products being easily available throughout the world. And so the way to do that is to patronize Orthodox businesses that sell them, okay? First mission to Alaska. Awesome, right? God bless you.